the weather has changed in many places drastically because people cut too many trees and they cannot grow fast enough to replace it to pre- replace them and the weather changes and the rains has been you know, washed away instead of, instead of preserved in the earth because the tr- trees trees they attract rain and also they keep the water you understand and it flows slowly down and it preserve the mountain also preserve the stream and the, the the river and all that if we cut out the trees we will be short of water and the weather will change drastically that we couldn't bear On February 22, 1992, Supreme Master Ching Hai visited Malaysia, where she gave a brilliant discourse encouraging the nations of the world to progress by embracing each other and using our world's manifold resources in a wide, beyond all borders way. Please enjoy this specially selected, insightful lecture entitled Start with Nirvana and End Up on the Earth on February 22, 1992, Malaysia. Even those uh, uh, excess fruits could be even decomposed and make fertilizer again. Why throw into the sea, for example? It become a kind of a organic plantation with the natural fertilizer. Why should they throw it away anyhow? It's all disorganized. Our world is rich in everything. We could feed the whole entire planet and export to the next 33 more planets those who doesn't have earth to cultivate, or those planets which their earth minerals are destroying, or their atmosphere has been poisoned by uh, Star Wars, <laughs> thing like that. We could export to them, give them even fresh fruits and vegetables, and then import their UFOs instead. Yeah, we exchange, import their excellent equipment, machines, and export to them our tofu, red beans, yeah, rice, wheat, etc. And even cats, dogs, birds for them to look. They don't have that many <laughs> in some of the planets. The atmosphere was so destroyed that they hardly can keep people and they keep down the population because they have to recycle their own atmosphere and oxygen and all kind of things. So they cannot afford to keep pets. So we can even export our atmosphere, give them each one packet of oxygen <laughs> from the earth with love. <laughs> yeah, we can do that. If the world leaders only realize how harmful it is to be self-interested, how short-lived that kind of attitude towards themselves and how harmful it is in the long run to their own even uh, later generation, to their children. And if they do realize that there are other planets, other civilizations in the whole universe which we should interrelate and try to communicate, try to learn and try to benefit from each other, then they would stop arguing and warring with each other. They would try hard at least to seek the way and put all the financial resources and our energy into finding a way to make peace instead of make war. It's very seldom somebody do something and don't want anything in return. Well, I do want something in return. I do want them to take care of the people, to truly devote their life for the benefit of their nation and also for the whole planet, to make good for what we have done wrong, to uh, beautify our planet and to try to make contact with other worlds beyond our world in order to improve our techniques and our machines, our way of understanding, our way of life, to elevate the suffering of our worlds and also the other world if possible. If we truly are the world leaders, our nation leaders, we must think broad and do things in such a vast scale, think in such a large pattern of thought, instead of just uh, 
taking care of a small group of people, our politicians, a group of nations, a group of interested persons, and taking care of our aides, our, our groups, or our supporters, or even our nation alone. We degrade ourselves if we think in such a small term instead of broadening our mind, enlarging our heart. It's very difficult, but we might make it. If the world runs so bad up to the point at one time, then people will be awakened and we'll be together, we we'll stick together. That's why sometimes we are not awakened and God has to use disaster as a consequence, also as a remedy <laughs> to shake us out, out of our slumber. But this is too tragic <laughs> and the effect will last a long time. It's better that we awaken ourselves before the disaster comes. But we always shaken a little bit for a while, <laughs> some of the people, and then fall back into the bad habit again. Not to learn from the past, not to learn from the previous beneficial experiences in order to improve. I hope that uh, <laughs> we have gone down badly enough for the world leaders to realize they must change our way of life. They must think larger than life. They must think beyond the border of their nations. They must think beyond the atmosphere of our planet. Otherwise, it is a waste of our greatness to think, to work, and to live just like animals or ants, <laughs> to feed our stomachs, to take care of our surrounding, I mean, relatives and friends or nation. Don't ants do that. Don't bees do that. They are even more organized <laughs> than some of us. They are even more supportive to each other than each of us. They are even more loving toward each other than each of us. They share equally among each of them, the portions of their earning. They work together, they put things together, and they share with each other. We have enough, uh, we have too much. Our world is still very rich, very, very rich in everything, in minerals and in all kinds of resources. Even if we don't have oil, we'll find something else to run our cars. The UFOs, they don't have oil. We don't need oil. Can we carry oil enough from Mars up to here? <laughs> 38,000 years light or some light years or something like that. Is that right? Yeah. The nearest planet <laughs> is Mars, right? Something like 38,000 light years or 3,800 light years, something like that. Okay. Anyhow, the nearest. It is as near as our fool can go <laughs> and come back. And yeah, it's not that near, it actually. It's not from, like from here to Hong Kong. <laughs> we all know. There are different kind of uh, food that we can use for different uh, purpose. In the higher world, they, they don't need oil like us. It's too troublesome yeah, and too heavy. <laughs> they use different energies. Not necessarily the sun energies. We have other kind of energies, which is in the atmosphere. I think some scientists has have begun to find out that has not been put to use. Because sometimes the scientists find out something and somebody else tries to break them down, yeah, and not let the public know about it or, ex or supported him. Maybe he, does, he went out of financial support. He cannot experiment further. And someone else is after him and steal the pattern and destroy it. Or use it for a very bad purpose. Or try to sell it with lots of money. And nobody else wants to buy it. And it's stuck there somewhere in the hand of no one. <laughs> and to do no good. Understand? Yes. Our planets, as long as we still have some people who has this kind of mentality, we go nowhere into the future, into the world of the civilization, into the world of a worthwhile human life, the true dignified and respected 
human life. Very difficult. Therefore, uh, I think our job is also not very bad. Huh? We try to educate people, at least to be honest, to work hard, to rely on themselves and to find the wisdom. So even whatever small work they do, they do it with heart, with devotion. And even if they, they couldn't do their work, at least they are honest to the society. They don't cheat people, they don't make trouble, they are patient, and they serve. Or at least, I mean, they do not cause trouble, and they will not uh, have jealousy and provoke other people or to break down other people's success in science or in whichever field they happen to work in. Most of the people from our disciples, whenever they met the other disciples on the street or anywhere else, they bump into one in a strange land. And they just feel they're brothers. And they know they can trust this person. They know that person will not, we, we help them, we love them, at least we will not harm them. Is that right? Yes. Yes, yes. Therefore, if the whole world is like that, what do you think? Of course, we still have our failures, yes? and our personalities, but we know we can trust each other, and we know we have love. We know we can give love. We know we give whatever we have. And this we have confidence with each other. If we create the world like this, we don't need to go to heaven. No need to discuss nirvana. <laughs> we stay right here. <laughs> Therefore, we started with nirvana and end up in the earth. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. Our motive is actually not to run away from our duties or from our earth. It's just that if we could not stay here and if we could not change it, then we have to go. <laughs> right? So if you live, if you love our world, if you're down to earth person, if you think the earthians people are still worthwhile, trustworthy, then serve them. Serve them with your wisdom, with what you know about the practice, about compassion, about love, about Guan Yin Metta. That is our duty. Change your life, change your heart, change your diet. No more killing. Be healthy and loving. Examples of nutritious, life-saving food. Tofu from soya, 16%. Gluten from flour, 70%. Corn, 13%. Rice, 8.6%. Soybeans, kidney beans, chickpeas, lentils, etc., 10 to 35 percent. Almonds, walnuts, cashews, hazelnuts, pine nuts, etc., 14 to 30 percent. Pumpkin seeds, sesame seeds, sunflower seeds, etc., 18 to 24 percent. Concentrated multivitamin tablets, capsules, are also a good source of vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. Fruits and vegetables are full of vitamins, minerals and antioxidants and contain high quality fiber for maintaining good health and a long life. The recommended daily allowance, 50 grams of protein, average adult. Calcium from vegetables is more absorbable than from cow's milk. To diminish the real threat of a worldwide pandemic from bird flu, to avoid the danger of mad cow disease, BSE, and pig disease, PMWS, etc., to stop the continuing gruesome sacrifice of billions of our sweet domestic animals, marine life, and feathered friends, it's wise to change to a vegetarian diet for good. It's health, it's economy, it's ecology, it's compassionate, it's peace. It's noble. For more information, please refer to the websites listed below.